Welcome everyone to my channel Bio World once again. So today with a new chapter absorption by roots that's the different processes involved in the process of absorption by roots. Now root is one of the most important organ of the plant that helps in absorbing water and minerals from the soil. And above that the most important function of root from the childhood onward we have studied that that roots helps in fixing the plant in the soil that is firmly fixing the plant in the soil and second most important function that it, it helps plant to stay alive that is the most important thing that is absorbing water and minerals from the soil so you can see this is the structure of part of the root that is root here that is extension of the root that is mainly involved in the process of absorption now you can see the diagram over here, the structure of the root here, how it has come out, that is extension from the root. The out, the uh, inside one is called, this full structure is called epidermal cells. That elongation give rise to root here. Then the outermost layer is cell wall, second one is cell membrane and you can see the structure that is a vacant structure or empty sac like structure. There, fills up the cell sap is called vacuole. So plant have larger vacuole in compared to animal cell. Animal cell they have or sometimes that is absent in them. The round structure is called cytoplasm. The jelly matrix is called cytoplasm. Uh, sorry, the round structure is nucleus and the jelly matrix is called cytoplasm. Now this is the structure of extension of the root here. This is fully grown root here and they are just immature one which is which has started growing from the epidermal cells of the roots. Now root here have certain characteristic feature which helps in absorption of water. So you have to know what are the characteristics of these root here. So you can see here characteristics of roots or root here probably. So wait. So you can see the characteristics of the roots that there are number of root here. The first one is surface area of roots is enormous. That is it is a common experience that even a small garden plant such as balsam when gently uprooted from the soil shows a thick bunch of rootlets. That means it has number of rootlets. That is a hairy, hairy structure which comes out from the root. And when these are seen in the microscope they appear uh, like hundreds of root hairs they are actually that rootlets are known as root hair and there are so many root hairs in the roots that increases the surface area more the surface area more the water and mineral absorption second one of the most important characteristics of root hair that is root hairs contain cell sap now you can see there is a vacuole inside the root hair and that vacuole they bear the cell sap which remains in a higher concentration than that of the surrounding water. What is the meaning of higher concentration? That means hypertonic in respect to the outer surrounding. That is hypertonic means the salt or the mineral concentration in this vacuole and compared to the soil is more. So cell sap has a higher concentration than the surrounding water and that gives a definite character to the root here for absorbing water that means if here the what mineral is high and water is less then what will happen the roots will start absorbing water from outside to the inside of the cell that means always the water movement is from the region where it is more to the region where it is less that is from the region of higher concentration of water to the region of lower concentration of water that makes the characteristics of root here of cell sap which remains in higher concentration than the surrounding higher concentration here implies to the content of the minerals or salt inside the vacuum that means root here cell sap is hypertonic and the surrounding is hypotonic i will be coming 
in the with the next video what is the meaning of hypotonic hypotonic and isotonic that's very important to understand in this chapter the three tonicity how to understand how the movement of water in the process of absorption via the process called osmosis takes place then the third structure is root hairs root hairs that have thin walls now that's one of the most important thin wall means very fine structure and remember the cell wall is thin and they are permeable also permeable means what that it allows all kind of movement of water molecules and dissolved substances freely in and out of a cell so cell wall is freely permeable whereas cell membrane is semi permeable now what is the meaning of cell uh, semi permeable semi permeable means it allows only water molecules to pass through but not the larger molecules of the dissolved salt so the secret of the absorption of water from the soil by the root lies mainly in this characteristics how the movement of the water takes place but not the solute so cell wall is allowing all kind of particles to move in and out of a cell whereas cell membrane plays a strict role in allowing only the water particle or only the water molecules to move in the cell and this is because of the nature of the cell membrane the lipoprotein nature of the cell membrane allows in this process so in this way the absorption of water and minerals that takes place via the root and the main structure of the root is root here that helps in water absorption so this was the introductory video on the root hairs on the root and their process of absorption and the characteristic feature of the root in the next video we will be coming with the processes involved in absorption by root that is diffusion osmosis imbibition active transports so stay tuned with the video please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching it